Hey everyone, um, sorry this video is really late, I just actually underwent surgery a little while ago and so it's a little bit sore to get up. Um, a recent high and low for me, um, a recent low was the surgery, um, it's been something that has been plaguing me for a really long time and finally getting it done is definitely a high even though I definitely feel kind of sore and um, at times, depending on if I have to take my pain medication, a little high. Um, a bit about the spirit approach to spiritual disciplines you formed. Um, I was not raised in a church at all, so um, growing up, I didn't really know too much about God, Jesus, worshiping and stuff. Um, my family was Buddhist, or I should say my mom is Buddhist. So I would go to like the temples and all of that stuff, um, kneel and I guess worship and pay, pay respects to the different um, gods and idols in the temple. Um, when I went to college and I was saved, I learned a lot. Um, I mostly practiced in morning prayer. Um, we would wake up at well. We would get to campus at about 7 a.m. and we would read God's word and like as a group just come together and talk about um, how God was speaking to us and pray for one another. And that was really how my um, relationship with each other and God really began to grow. And of course, as I began going to church, um, I learned a lot more about what it means to love God, love one another, and of course I started learning more of the songs that were being played. Um, yeah, and through my Bible study groups, uh, I learned to read this, learned to read the Bible by my own without just having to go over it in terms of what was being um, lectured on or preached on. Um, a decision and challenge that I'm facing now is membership um, because as a newcomer to my church, um, I do need to pledge my membership, but it's also I want to get to know the church better before um, officially going through with it. So I am beginning with the membership um, process, but I will not be... Um, transferring this time around for Easter. I want to um, take the time to really fully develop um, my understanding of that church and um, whether or not it is a fit church for me. Um, particular way I want to grow as a next step in my spiritual journey. Um, being a flight attendant, it's been a really long time since I've had like a set group of a community that I can lean on to talk to, especially of girls, and I really look forward to finding a group where we can consistently meet and consistently be accountable for each other. Um, as an introvert, it's definitely much harder as a, like if it's not a set time and day, like every first and third Wednesday, we're going to meet up and talk about God and what we learned, et cetera, et cetera. So, I think part of it, too, is finding that group and a secondary part of it is becoming more comfortable and reaching out to others, even when um, that's that time or something isn't something I have established yet. Um, a particular ministry or theology, theology question that you're wrestling with. Hmm. I think. Because growing up, I was very involved in theater arts and very involved with um, a lot of facets of student life that incorporated students from the LGBTQI communities. Um, I realized that becoming a Christian, a lot of these friends of mine became fearful of me as though afraid that I would judge them, afraid that I would say things that they wouldn't agree with, etc., um, and I think coming to terms with what it means to love on someone and to still be honest and just having discernment on um, how to on just how to uh, attack certain things. Like, for example, I might 
need to have discernment and also ask my friend for understanding if they want me to offici- officiate their wedding and I cannot, um, but I will send a gift. Or even if it's just attending their wedding, letting them know I'm celebrating the love that they have for one another and celebrating as family and friends, but not necessarily the marriage itself. Um, I think it's things like that, that I think there are many fine lines and there has to be a lot of discernment between how we hold ourselves to others, whether within the Christian community or within the LGBTQI community as well. Um, A mini share of something you created, art, um, music, home decor, improvement, a poem, something in the kitchen. Hmm. I'm currently staying in an Airbnb, so I don't quite think I have anything with me. Um, I'm staying in an Airbnb while I recuperate before I can drive back down to SoCal. Um, I really do love uh, creating... I love doing graphic design. I'm sure I have something on my computer that I can go ahead and... um, link to on the bottom that I guess you guys can take a look at. Um, A mini share about an object that is meaningful to you. Um, I was, I had a blanket and it folds up into a blue bunny. I wish I had him with me. He's called Mr. Bun Buns. I've had him all my life. There are pictures of me and him at the same height or bigness. Um, Yeah, he's been with our family since before I was conceived, and I still hug him to sleep every night. A picture of you growing up and a story about you then. Mm, I have a picture in mind. Um, It's a picture of my father holding me while I was looking at flowers, and he was showing me the flower. Um... When I was born, my mom freaked out because I was premature, and my mom hates little animals like kittens, dogs, well, any big animal either. She just does not like animals. And so when I was born and I was so tiny, she said I was the ugliest thing she's ever seen. I looked like a small baby dead cat, in her words. But my dad loved me, and I was definitely daddy's little girl. Um... And if you look at, like, our old pictures, I actually look a lot like him. He recently passed last year, so sorry. It's, like, it's a little emotional talking about him. Um, but, yeah, I think that photo is really cute because he's just literally showing me the world and I'm just being a curious little cat. And that was always our um, dynamic. A picture of your family or of origin and a few ways they affect your spiritual journey. I can say that definitely my family has been a huge part of my spiritual journey. My mother is a devout Buddhist and she's very anti-Christian. Um, My father, I would say he leans more on the side of atheist than agnostic, but he's much more of the, I don't care what you are as long as you're happy. Um, And my sister falls into the same with atheism. She doesn't care anything, nothing exists, but you're going to respect your mom, do the temple thing, whatever kind of person. Um, I don't know if there's really a picture I can think of that can really encompass that Um, but definitely in having such different views on religion after I became a Christian within my family there was a lot of 
turmoil, a lot of, just a lot of different opinions. Um, yeah, and a little vi video tour of where you live or somewhere special to you. Um, I'm not, I don't have access to anywhere like that right now, um, but here is my bed for a while. Um, it's just an Airbnb. It's, it was near the clinic that I had to get my medical procedure done. So um, I came here and I've kind of been in bed for a while, <laughs> um, just recuperating. Um, so yeah, thanks.